I'm Dean. <laughs> this is Mrs. Dean. <laughs>
for, yeah. for a good time. We had a good night in Nijmegen, lovely town, absolutely fantastic yeah, town yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. when Nijmegen wanted. But for me, it was my Ooh. first pedal for pounds. That was my first pedal for pounds and I'd been training, but not actually done anything like the mileage that we did to Nijmegen. So the most I'd done, I went far, far You're beyond. 65. I know, but I've not done that enough. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just very impressed with myself that I managed to cycle 65 miles. Uh, no, it was great. That that first night, that that first day was a tough day. Yeah, 65 miles. Just head down, get on with it, get to Nijmegen. Which was Nijmegen to Rotterdam, and that threw up another challenge, didn't it? With oh. knowing we had to get the ferry we had to be in we told all the cyclists that they had to be in for five o'clock knowing we had a bit of a leeway seven o'clock we needed everybody yeah, right. everybody back nine megan to ferry. oh the ferry yeah. that was hard for me that nine we did 92 <laughs> mile dean was quite away behind me yeah <laughs> didn't want to peak too early <laughs> <laughs> you remember when janet finished her training i started um yeah um but the route, I would say the route through Holland was absolutely outstanding. The gardens, all the topiary, the canals, the dikes. No, it was the way that all the, all the cars gave way to you, didn't they? Wherever, whatever you were doing, cyclists had priority and it just made all the difference, didn't it? That we could Cars always give way to me, Janet. <laughs> didn't <that> you? <laughs> no, I stopped. <laughs> what, you stopped? Yeah, I stopped. <laughs> no, I never stopped. <laughs> No, but, no, the cycle yeah. paths were incredible. No potholes, no lovely tarmac. It was absolutely outstanding. Yeah, but it made yeah. riding as a team really pleasurable. We were able to ride to a breast yeah. and chat and talk along the way, and it was just the yeah. day went really quickly. Yeah, I've jacked off Team Orange, which they took quick, and uh, then I joined Team Turtle. <laughs> Fantastic, <laughs> wasn't it? Who looked after us exceptionally well. Fantastic. Team Turtle. <laughs> <laughs> we we, ne we never went, we, we always went as quick as the slowest. That's why we've come in near the last of the year. <laughs> and it was quite often Dean that was the slowest. <laughs> we were at the, the, the first food stop and we were in a car park. We were obviously Team T who had all the sandwiches, all, yeah, all yeah, the yeah. soups, the teas and coffees. They were an absolute life save, Super. saver for everybody. But we were, there were about seven or eight houses. Uh, just across from us, over, overlooking the sea, and this old lady came came out. She, she must have yeah, been yeah. 75, 80, and yeah. she saw the the, the Oxford ambulance flags, uh, and obviously been watching. Uh, She's seen it on TV. Yeah, the, the, the health he he was, uh, yeah. uh, and came out and facing said, "Is this for the helicopter?" And we said yes, and she gave us 20 euros to to, do, to donate. What I would say is, yesterday the 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 cycling was outstanding, but. When we got to Rotterdam, it was like 15, 16 miles to get to um, uh, the ferry, and that was hard. The wind was against us, you know, snow, hail, sleet, <laughs> horrendous. I just, I, I found it hard. Didn't I? I don't think I fueled up properly, not enough petrol in the tank, and I struggled. And Janet beat me that day. Got to the port, got a bit lost around there, and a few people did, yep, I think. Yep. You got to the port, and you thought, I'm here. He had another like 15 miles to cycle through this port on Ken Creek. And, and you're carrying on and carrying on and carrying on. You're thinking, when's it ever going to end? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we were three miles out, the blue team were three miles out. We got a puncture. Yeah. So you're thinking then, are we going to make the ferry? Are we going to make the ferry? Yep. So I think we were last on the ferry. Yeah, and we've got a confession here because. Warm. We've got a great, we've got a great support team, and they all do it voluntary. Oh, I think they I know do, what's and they do, and we were looking at his time. They all, every every other uh, group were in. They were on the ferry. They were all probably on the second pint, <laughs> and we had one dilemma. The blue team were still out. We were still out. We had gates closed at seven o'clock. <laughs> it was quarter past six, and Carl Dickens, head of the support team, we all got together and said, right, we know they've got a puncher. What do we do here? Do we go out? Maybe, obviously, look after them, bring them back safely, yeah. but risk us all missing the ferry. Yeah. Or do we leave them? <laughs> yeah, they miss it. They make miss it. Yeah, make sure we all get on the ferry. They can wait till tomorrow night, get on to, to, 
fairly tonight and Carl Dickinson said no we've got to go back if it, if it means us uh, missing the ferry we, we do it and yeah. I said Sodom <laughs> that were my exact words Sodom I'm off on that ferry blue, Ian Marwood can look after the blue team and that was something as well that'll stick in my mind we're, we're sat in a car lovely warm car and uh, there's Janet Oil and Dean Oil <laughs> yeah. the chairman of Huddersfield Town Football Club I think you would name the 11th richest in the paper somebody were telling me yesterday uh, we gave him his bag and to watch Dean carry his bag and his bike really? with his passport through passport control with an absolute picture it's, and yeah, it just and I, I know we've said it before but he's the chairman of Huddersfield Town What I liked, everybody got off the ferry, got through the passport eventually, and then you came, you came around and you saw then the 50 Paul Thomas. Homers, yep. which I thought was great. And that, that gave you an actual boost. Lovely to see those people yep. there and yep. down here. And, and they'd set off at half past four. They were down at PPG wow. Canal side at half past four wow. to, to get on that coach. And then bit by bit, you saw the teams go off, go you know, yep. the hud hud Homers. Hull to homers, and then the other teams going off. Fantastic, you know, sort of cycling all that way. And this was a challenge today because we've been been used to the flat, and then all of a sudden now we're going to be faced with some hills and undulating, that the the roads weren't as good. So today was a challenge, and I think uh, some people flagged at the beginning, but yep. team spirit came through. Uh, I can speak on behalf of Team Blue. You know, we worked together as a team. We actually had two punctures about five miles into the ride, so that slowed us down, stuck together, carried on, um, got to the first stop. Uh, we encountered, for the first time in two days, cars in Hull. And honking holes. horns. We hadn't had one horn honked at us all the time until we got back to it. <laughs> no, but the wind was behind us. Uh, it drove us on, um, went through um, um, Howden, um, I think that that stop was too far away. Seven miles too far. I'll run on the empty 40, then. 40 miles for the first stop was quite a long run. Yeah, yep. and as Janet knows, you can't run a Ferrari on, pet, on, on water. So I was running on empty, weren't I? Yeah? And then that final bit, Thornhill. Yeah. That was a killer. A lot of people, uh, pure Phil Hodgkinson. Um, Phil Hodgkinson uh, struggled a little bit on that. But I'll tell you what, that lad's never done a bike ride. But he... He trained 80 miles, that's all he'd done. Yeah, all, yeah. what an effort all that done, was, yeah. what an effort. And I think he's raised a lot of money for the, for the campaign mm. as well. So that, and I think a lot of teams were the same, they all came together, got up that hill, and then you realise, once you're up there, you're kind of home, yeah. on your way home. Yeah, and that's the only hill that you've done 260 miles and you complain about 1-0 outside Huddersfield. <laughs> yeah. a, we can't do much more for you Look, really. I've got to tell you, tell you though, after that, every like kind of undulating hill felt like that. You know, yeah. while I climb up, you were, you were cream cracking. You, exactly. You know, yeah. but then, yeah. then you start to think you're home. Yeah. And you get this set, a burst of energy. You get this burst of energy that, that gets you to PPG can outside. The helicopter came, it, it was around for an hour and a half, and unfortunately it had to take off. Oh, okay. uh, oh. It got a call. Uh, and well, that's what it's all about. Huh? That, and that's exactly what it's all about. We, got, we had 195 cyclists, and we saw the helicopter, and then it went off to do a job. Yeah. And I think it just summed, summed up there, yeah, we've finished, but that's what it's all about. Well, no, and all the journey all the way home. But what I would say is, um, the reception we've got here, um, Karen Brook, Martin, um, incredible people have done it on tandems. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Brilliant, yeah, brilliant. inspiration to everybody, brilliant. and that's but, what makes it about. But for me, being a first time rider and riding as part of a team, that was a big thing. I thought being part of a team and, and the team looking after us, taking care of us, there was never, you never thought you were not going to finish it. You knew you were going to be able to get through it because you got the support of all the guys around you doing it. And, and uh, it was the camaraderie that was fantastic. Yeah, 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 Team Turtle, everyone looks after themselves. <laughs> fantastic. And me being a seasoned campaigner, uh, I've done one. How many have you done? One. I've done one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. And will you be doing nine? Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> there you go, he'll be doing okay. that. I don't think I've ever seen a reception at the training ground like I did today. When yeah. you, and we were last, so everybody yeah. was here. But yeah. when you're cycling in and you saw all those people, I'll tell you what, I've never felt anything quite yeah. like that. That yeah. was magnificent for me. Yeah. Real Huddersfield town, you know, exactly. really quite special. Since the bike rides started, all the money that's ever been raised has paid for every single flight in our area. So Kirklees, Huddersfield area, has now meant that um, the work, the, the team, the cyclists, everybody's made, raised that money, has paid for every single flight. And, and I, I, I put, posted a couple of things on Facebook and I, I sort of said, memories made, uh, which it has been. Yeah. We've had yeah. some superb yeah. memories. But see, the, the key thing is lives have been saved. From this, the effort that they've done, lives have been saved. It's been truly, truly magnificent. And it's been, going to be a week's time that you reflect on it, but yeah. Pedal for Power Day, very, very special. What I would say is well done to everybody, and uh, yep, yeah, that's it. As you can tell, I'm very delighted that we're back. <laughs>